Hey guys, what's up? We are back with another video today, and today I am doing my Texans 21, 2021 NFL prediction. So as always, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Help me reach 175 subscribers for the end of the summer. I'm only 7 subscribers away, so please help me at that goal by subscribing down below. Like this video if you enjoy it. Comment all your thoughts and opinions down below. Your record predictions, your thoughts. Once I hit 175 subscribers, I'll be doing two viewer suggested videos. So make sure that you put your suggestion, and I may do uh, pick out your suggestion down below. So let's get started with today's video. Uh, the Texans are probably, in my opinion, the weakest team coming into the NFL, uh, the 2021 NFL season, um, talent-wise, roster-wise, like just overall, just a super bad team. You had David Culley come in. Uh, new front office, new head coaching staff, new everything. Um, there are some pretty bad things about this roster, and I don't mean to just hate on Texans fans. I don't know how many of their Texans fans are left, um, but I feel incredibly bad for you. I'd say the brightest and biggest hope spot here is that you have Pep Hamilton as your quarterback's coach, I think. Um, he, he's either quarterback's coach or offensive coordinator, um, and he should be able to develop maybe a Davis Mills um, and a Tyrod Taylor. Maybe he can come back and play decent. The problem is, is you don't have much outside of those two half-decent quarterbacks, but running back-wise, offensive line's pretty good. Um, wide receivers are awful. Defense is, there's a lot, a lot of weak spots. So let's get into the, uh, the schedule. Um First game of the year, you have the Jacksonville Jaguars. I think this is a loss. I think the Jaguars are better than you. Better quarterback, better coaches, better system. They just, even though they were the worst team in the NFL last year, they have so much more ability and more talent than you guys do. So I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to have this as a loss here. Then you had to Cleveland to play the Browns. I have this as a loss. The Browns are probably the most talented team just purely on paper. Even more talented than the Chiefs, in my opinion, just because defensively they have better talent overall, just not just on Frank Clark or with the loss of Rashad Breeland in the secondary. That could be a little bit of an interesting addition into the new system. Uh, but I have that as a loss there. Then you have a home game against the Carolina Panthers. I have that as a loss. I think the Panthers are just a better team. They look on, they have a lot of upside, and don't get me wrong. The Texans do have some upside. I think that Davis Mills in a, as a third-round pick isn't bad. I don't think uh, that Nico Collins was a bad pick. Um, but when you don't have a first or a second-round pick, I think that it could be really hard. Um, and I don't, I'm don't. i not going to get into the Deshaun Watson situation other than if you don't get any trade value by next draft time, it could be really interesting to see how this organization goes about in these next couple of years because they have so little trade value on the team, like no trade value, that you're going to have to go with your picks. And this could be a five, six year long rebuild just because you don't have anything on your roster to trade away to get some picks um, back. Um, then you have a game at Buffalo. Um, this is a loss. The Bills... The, one of the last times the Bills and the Texans played, I think it may have been the last time, um, there was a playoff game with Deshaun Watson barely beating the Bills in Houston. This time, much different circumstances. Um, I had this as a loss. And I'm all of this is assuming that Deshaun Watson is not playing for the Texans this season. If he plays for the Texans, I will probably give him two or three more wins, probably beat the Jaguars, like a couple more wins here and there. Um just because he's that good, but I just either legally I don't expect him to play and I don't expect him to want to play for the Texans. Um, so I have, I, I just, there's no reason for me to expect him to play, so I'm not going to act like it is. But if they, if he does end up playing, I will change my prediction. Uh, then you have a home game against Patriots. Patriots are going to kill them. Patriots coaching staff is extremely good, even though they have... Some of the weakest talent in the NFL, I would say oh, if you just look at offensive talent, they're pretty comparable. Both have solid offensive lines, but the wide receiver core is worse. I would say that the quarterback situation for 
Houston's a little bit better just because I like Tyrod Taylor a little bit more than I like Cam Newton. And I think, yes, Mac Jones is a better quarterback than Davis Mills. But in year one, is it that much of a difference? No. Um, running back situation, I would give the advantage to the Patriots. But overall, I think the Texans and Patriots are pretty comparable. Talent-wise, the only difference is that you have one of the greatest head coaches on the Patriots and a coach that has never even been a coordinator, I think, in David Cohn. Um, then you head to Indianapolis to play the Colts. This is a loss, an individual in division rival. Um, that used to be a really fun matchup, but the Colts are just so much better. Lost there. Then you head to Arizona to play the Cardinals. I have this as a loss again. Kyler Murray, DeAndre Hopkins. I'm sorry here. Um, I'm sorry here, Texans fans. As a Bears fan, the Allen Robinson situation is really killing me as a Bears fan. I couldn't imagine all of a sudden waking up and DeAndre Hopkins is gone for a second round pick and a running back that even as an FCS fan and a fan of David Johnson, I knew he was done and you really could have gotten a running back of equal caliber in the sixth round, but whatever. Um, I digress. A uh, home game against the Rams lost here. Matthew Stafford and that uh new uh, that new offense that he is in. I think it may take a couple weeks to really improve and to get into that system, but it should be a pretty easy victory there. Then you head to Miami to play the Dolphins. Uh, this is a loss here again. The losses are racking up at this point. Uh, they they just don't have the talent to beat the Dolphins. They just they have no talent whatsoever to even compete. And blowouts are very much in question. Are how big of a blowout is the question mark, not whether they'll win. Then they head to Tennessee to play the Titans. I have this as a loss. Titans are best team in the division, in my opinion. Um, Derrick Henry, nobody on the Texans is going to be able to, uh, to tackle Derrick Henry. So I wouldn't be surprised if Derrick Henry has like three, four touchdowns in this game. Um, it, with only three, four carries. Um... Then you have the Jets, a home game. This one is going to be a little bit more competitive, but I just like the Jets a lot better with Mikel Becton and Morgan Moses and Elijah Bear Tucker and Zach Wilson and Denzel Mims. And, like, the list goes on and on. The defense is good with Quentin Williams and Marcus May, Bryce Hall. It's just – it's not even comparable when you compare one of the worst NFL teams. Then you have a home game against the Colts, another loss there. Like I said previously, the Colts are a pretty good team and a very talented roster. Then you have a home game against the Seahawks. The Seahawks have Russell Wilson, another unhappy quarterback at the beginning of the offseason, but he patched it out with the team, mostly because Seattle said, hey, we need to patch it out with this guy, and they did that. Um, lost there, then they headed Jacksonville. Later on in the season, I have no expectation of the uh, Jags even have to be competitive in this game. I think that the Jags will blow the Texans out of the water. Heading into week 15, you have another loss here against the Los Angeles Chargers. Um, I think that this is a game where you're going to get blown out by 40 plus points just because of the explosiveness of the Chargers offense. Then you head to San Francisco to play the Niners. This is another loss here. I think that the Niners, the run game, is going to be pretty unstoppable for a weak defensive team. That's a loss there. And then to finish out the season with a first ever 0-17 record, I think that the Tennessee Titans finish off the Houston Texans to finish 0-17. If Deshaun Watson was on this team, I may finish them 3-14 or 2-15. But like he alone cannot improve this roster to where it needs to be. Um, so I'm sorry, Texans fans, but an 0-17 record is what I have predicted for you. As always, make sure you hit the two videos down below. Hit the subscribe button up here, and as always, have a great day. Bye.